हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू आर आर डूइंग वेल सो आई एम बैक विथ अ न्यू सेशन ऑन साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिलेवेंट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम यू पी एस सी प्रिलिम्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड नॉट ओनली प्रिलिम्स एग्जाम बट ऑल्सो फॉर मेन एग्जामिनेशन सो टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वट इज सुपर कंप्यूटर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ प्रोसेसर्स असेंबल टूगेदर and does the parallel processing of data so what what comes here that is a in terms of parallel processing simultaneously the problem is broken into many components parts and at the same time they are getting analyzed to get the result which fractions of seconds results are obtained so parallel processing of data right second you know high speed but in future quantum computing will overtake these super computers right that is what called flop how many calculations how many operations a super computer can carry out in one second so like presently whatever comes here there's a petaflop flop that is 10 to the power 15 floating operations per second now slowly worldwide fastest supercomputer is getting to exaflop exaflop is a thousand time faster than petaflop 10 to power 18 flops teraflop is 10 to 12 gigaflop 10 to power 9 every time thousand time faster giga tera peta exa that is come up to exa level fastest supercomputer now parallel processing data so here You have thousands of fast processors. You can say CPUs assembled together. We are assembled together to build a supercomputing facility. So that is where a supercomputing facility. It almost looks like a library of. A all the server and the part looks like so that's where a super computing facility is built now what comes super computer super computers here if you look at there is something here called top 500 this list is there now now i am telling you the fastest super computer of the world or india but in future before the exam again you read from current affairs maybe even the faster than this what i'm going to write on the board could have been developed ibm company their forerunner usa is the country with the highest number of supercomputers in the world china also is developing japan is also there india is known for param that is cdac center for development of advanced computing now if you look at top this one june 2022 list frontier that's in the usa frontier that's rank 1 that's rank 1 but if you talk about india worldwide that frontier is there india if you look at india's here that's the param siddhi param siddhi and is based on artificial intelligence ai that will be built by here developed by cdac developed by center for development and advanced computing pune which is the fastest right now before that there prithvishan mihir but now Param Siddhi comes into that, and you know that it finds a lot of application there. Weather forecasting, climate research, meteorology, again cryptography, encoding of data, decoding of data, industrial modeling, simulations, drug discovery program, infrastructure development and architecture design. Any such kind of Design, simulation, modeling, 
whether space, defense, energy, nuclear, industry, any kind of thing there. We can use supercomputers. Meteorological and climate research, climate change impact, prediction, forecasting, all we can use supercomputers. Today for the monsoon forecast, we are using supercomputers. Disaster warning, supercomputers. Infrastructure development, we can design a model, supercomputer. Hundreds of applications are there. And UPSC can ask a direct question with the application. Right? So, there are many applications. So, there are many things that I have told you. This is the top 500. है. Frontier. Which is the Oak Ridge National Lab, USA. In this case, they have RMAX and RPIC. You will come across this kind of information. RMAX and RPIC. If you look at Frontier, RMAX is 1102 peta flop. 10 to power 15 flop. R pick जो 1,685 है, यानी कि R pick जो है, greater than R max है. R pick का मतलब that is the highest speed a supercomputer can attain theoretically. That is R pick. But when we run the that supercomputer, sustained speed, maximum speed, that will be R max. जब हम सुपर कंप्यूटर यूज करते हैं उसमें जो जनरल जब रन करते हैं और यूज करते हैं जो मैक्सिमम स्पीड होता है आर मैक्स है आर पिक जो है यानी वो सुपर कंप्यूटर सबसे ज्यादा पिक थ्योरेटिकली अचीव कर सकता है आइडियली जो है तो हमेशा आर मैक्स के कॉन्टेक्स्ट में होता है तो फ्रंटियर इज दिस वन देन यू कैन से दिस इज फर्स्ट रैंक सेकेंड रैंक है फुगाकू जापैन का But I said, this list is revised over time to time. So, when you look at the exam, you can see the list again. You can search for Google, the top 500 list will come. You can see the latest list. In the second, there is Fugaku. In the third, there is Lumi. This is Finland. In the fourth, there is Leonardo. Leonardo is the fourth. The European people are here. Okay? So, this is the list. इसको एक बार जब भी एग्जाम से पहले देख के जाना है है ना कौन से कंट्री में कहाँ पर इसको डेवलप किया गया है फिर यहाँ पर इटली का है लियानडो यूरोपियन है इटली में फिर फिफ्थ में समिट है यूएसए का है फिर सियरा है सिक्स्थ में यूएसए का सनवे टाहू लाइट चाइना चाइना हैज गॉन टू सेवन्थ पहले चाइना नंबर वन था सनवे टाहू लाइट बट अब सेवन्थ रैंक पहुँच गया देन यू हैव पर्ल मूटो यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स एट्थ रैंक सेलिन नाइन्थ यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स टेंथ चाइना टेहने टू है और मिल्की वे बोलते हैं तो आरो टॉप टेन में टू और चाइनीज सेवेंथ रैंक एंड टेंथ रैंक सेवेंथ सनवे टाउ लाइट टेंथ टेहने टू है चाइनीज अमेरिकन इफ यू लुक एट फ्रंटियर द टॉप रैंक अमेरिकन फ्रंटियर नंबर वन देन यू फाइंड हियर द नंबर फाइव समिट नंबर सिक्स रैंक सियरा Number seventh rank, number eighth rank, eighth Pearl Mutter, and number nine Selene. कहने में तो out of ten में पांच तो US का ही हो गया. Five are there. ऐसे USA has got highest number of such supercomputers worldwide also. Even top five hundred में भी. Right? India का जो है India which comes here there's a PIB. India occupies sixty third rank. But this rank can change also. India can go down also. ठीक है तो एआई जो है एआई आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बेस्ड सुपर कंप्यूटर डेवलप्ड बाय सी डैक परम सिद्धि दिस वर्ड हैज बीन मेड अमेंड द टॉप 500 तो ये हाई परफॉर्मेंस कंप्यूटिंग आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सुपर कंप्यूटर राइट सबसे थर्ड रैंक था लेकिन बट नाउ इट हैज गॉन डाउन 16 नवंबर 2020 म कोविड के टाइम में इसको क्या क्या मेडिकल इमेजिंग जीनोम सीक्वेंसिंग फोरकास्टिंग एप्लीकेशन पता भी होना चाहिए कि वेर एप्लीकेशन आर देर देन यू नो दैट वेदर फोरकास्टिंग वहाँ पर हम यूज़ कर सकते हैं इसको ये जो है सुपर कंप्यूटर का परम सिद्धि एआई का आर पिक जो है वो है 
फोरकास्टिंग ऑफ वेदर इमेजिंग देयर कोविड नाइनटीन ऑल दीज आर वेयर इट इज यूज देयर और इसको नेशनल सिस्टम में एड किया गया and there is a very ambitious program called NSM national super computing mission and we are going to create a grid a network of super computers combined together to form a high speed high performance national super computing grid where more than 70 super computers will be combined to a single grid distributed network and that will be added connected to another grid called nkn national knowledge network national knowledge network is a grid interconnected lab institutions research centers academic centers universities isro lab drdo park that called nkn national knowledge network and now we are building together all the super computers all the clusters and super computers facilities more than 70 are going together to form another grid called nsm national super computing mission national super national super computing grid and both the grid will be combined national super computing grid national knowledge network grid that is what our plan is there department of science and technology and ministry of information and electronics and information technology mit ministry of electronics and information technology both are collaborating together to this kind of a program there so param siddhi ai that is a where it has been developed there राइट तो ये चीज है तो इसको ध्यान में रखना है एंड द एप्लीकेशन पार्ट कहां पर एप्लीकेशन द साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बुक राइट फ्रॉम ओकब्रिज ओकब्रिज पब्लिकेशन विच इज अवेलेबल इन एमेजॉन फ्लिपकार्ट इवन इन द नॉर्मल मार्केट शॉप्स कैन ऑल्सो यू फाइंड दैट हियर इन दिस बुक दिस इज चैप्टर ऑन एडवांस कंप्यूटिंग आई new technology and all these age computing super computing quantum computing all these thing are already given aur maine bataya bhi tha ki is kitab se bahut sare question puche gaye hain exams mein and even there are topics future based technology future based things which are making headlines and where upsc has not asked question can ask in coming exams is given in the book is <laughs> sara diya hua hai and is me if you go there you will find everything there you will find my name there if you do the google search you will find with the photograph and all these the complete name of the book is science and technology from inception to advancement i have given all things there to so those of you who are interested to learn more and read about it prepare for the examination can go through the book right so i hope that you all are able to understand whatever i am teaching in all my science tech sessions and you are able to connect there so i am connecting to those areas which are very very relevant where you could get questions in the exam right so i thank all of you for doing this program and knowing everything there right so please go through it read and revise till we meet in the next session with new topics whatever doubts you have you can always send to us right we'll meet soon in the new session with a new topic thank you everyone take care bye bye